Hello everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do another request and the question that I got was can you explain the basics of animation in Maya? Okay, so this is for absolute beginners. Okay, if you have any experience with animation in Maya, you can skip this video. Okay, so for those of you who are left, okay, let's get into this. Okay, first of all, what is animation? Animation is a simulation of movement by having images uh, next to each other or behind each other that are slightly different every time. And by viewing that in sequence at a certain speed, you have a sense of animation. Okay. Now in Maya, there's kind of a distinction between simulation and animation. You can move things, let's say grass blowing in the wind, trees moving around through the wind and so forth. And that is more a simulation deal. Characters walking around in Maya, that would specifically be animation. Okay. Now, when you're moving a character, you would typically have a joint system. So you would have a rig and a vehicle can have a rig and so forth. But we're not going to go into that. Like I said, this is a basic video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you how you set up animation and how that works. Okay. So in order to get started, we're just going to create a simple object. We're going to create a polygon cube and we're going to pull that up. Okay. I'm going to go to my polycube tab and I'm going to set my translate values to zero, which will center my object on my grid line. Okay. And while we're right here, you can already see that you have three columns here, your X, your Y, and your Z. And down here you have the, the, um, the red X, the green Y, and the blue Z. Okay. So these are three directions. So if I were to select this guy, hit W and move that up, you can see that it's moving, translating, moving over my Y axis. Okay. If I want to move it on X, I would drag here. If I wanted to move in Z, I would drag here. And you can see that these values are changing. Okay. So if I now set these all back to zero, it's back at my starting point. Okay. Same deal for rotation. If I want this to rotate in all values, I'll hit R and scale it out. Uh, scale, sorry. So you can see that the scale value is changing as I move. All right. So if I set the scale back to zero, my object's gone because there's no scale at all. Okay. So I'm going to hit control Z, control Z, control Z to go back. And there we go to the default of one. All right. Okay, so what this tells you is that when you change values here, your object changes. Okay, but how do you tell Maya to remember where it started and where it ended and so forth? Okay, we'll get into that. Down here, you have your animation time scale or your, your frame scale. Okay, so I can lift click and drag and move over the scale. In this area right here, we have the number of frames in our animation and you can just you know, make that a thousand or whatever you want. Okay. You can just change that. Let's do 500 for now. So I got 500 frames. Okay. So now what, what we do is we tell Maya what to do with an object over a certain span of time in a number of frames. Okay. So we know, for example, that our cube is sitting on the middle of our grid line right there. And at the start of our animation, this is our starting point. And these are all our values. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to key these values. So what do I mean by key? We're going to save this position scale and so forth. Now, how do you do that? We're on frame one and we're going to hit the S key on our keyboard, which creates a red line here. So you can see that this is keyed and this all turns red. So all these are now kind of in memory, if you will. All right. Now, I want my cube to move uh, this way up, rotate and change size. Okay. And I want that to happen in a certain time frame. Now, in average, an animation plays 24 frames a second. 
it differs depending on your you know type of media but let's say for argument's sake 24 frames a second so if i want this movement and change to take 10 seconds i would select 240 frames okay so i'm going to click on frame 240 right and now i'm going to hit w move my object move it up hit e to rotate and rotate again and hit R to scale okay so you see all of these values are changing okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit S again on my keyboard and this turns red again and there you have my second key so if I scrub and this is called scrubbing and I scrub back you're going to see that my object is moving back to its starting point. Okay. Now, the cool thing about Maya is that, first of all, you can set keys in more than one way. I'll just quickly show you. I'll create another cube. If I want to key this, I can also go to the individual value, like here. Right click and go to set key. And as you can see, just that one value will turn red. Okay. I'll just uh, get rid of this guy. Now, one thing uh, that I want to show you as well, and that's kind of an important one, is you have individual um, animation lines for individual objects. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to create another cube. And when I select this cube, all the values are gone. When I select this guy, you have your keyframe and your keyframe. So I can animate this independently from this. So for this guy, I'm on frame one. Again, I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to keyframe its position, scale, and so forth. And then I'm going to go to frame 240. And you'll see that this guy will move. Okay, this guy will not. I'm going to hit W, move it over here, move it over there. Hit E to rotate it. And rotate it like so and hit R and scale it up, for example, okay? And once again, hit S to keyframe. So now if we scrub back, we're gonna see two objects moving, all right? So that's kind of the principle of animation using keyframing. Now, if you had a character and you wanted to move an arm or a leg, you would have kind of a skeleton in the character and then you would do the same thing you would keyframe okay the arm is now in that position and it's going to move to that position within let's say 10 seconds so you pass 240 frames you lock into the new position and you set the key all right very basic very simple but hopefully this will help uh, especially people out there that are uh, new to animation in maya to get started okay if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help if I can. And that said, thank you guys for watching. Bye.